Hi, this is Pepper at Pepperscraps.com and today I wanted to share with you uh, basically how I've been coming up with my recipes. So the other day I was looking through my um, fridge and we were down to very little in our fridge and our money was very tight so I decided to make something straight out of there. I had some strawberries that needed to be used, I had some blue cheese that needed to be used, and um, I decided that I would make some salad because I also had a head of lettuce that we had bought and I am terrible at using up the lettuce and my goal this week is to use up that lettuce and not let it go back. Um, I probably will actually make a green smoothie later this week for me and my boys because they actually enjoy that and it is one really good way to get um, some of your greens in you and out of your fridge. Basically, so I had my base ingredients that I knew I wanted to use. I knew they worked well together. So then I figured out um, how to add my protein to it, which I decided I needed to add some dilly ham to it, which I had a lot of and I wanted to use that up also. I actually used a whiteboard and I started with my dressing. I wanted to make a fun light dressing for this and I've been seeing a lot of balsamic um, strawberries on Pinterest and stuff, so I knew that was a good combination and I really wanted to try it. So I decided to make a balsamic um, dressing, but I wanted to make it a creamy dressing. For me, to make anything creamy, I usually either use cream cheese or Greek yogurt. And since I'm making a dressing, I decided to go with Greek yogurt. So I started out with my one ounce of Greek yogurt, and then I actually put in a half tablespoon or half teaspoon of balsamic vinegar and that wasn't quite enough so I added one and so with my dry erase it was really easy just to erase that half and put one there so that's why I like doing this is basically I can change things as I um, change the recipe I then decided it needed a little bit more of a salty um, just more flavor to it and so I added some soy sauce and then I added some salt and pepper just to taste and another reason I write these these things down on the whiteboard is because I need this information to put into my food calculator to figure out my calories for my meal. Um, it's very important for me to know exactly how much calories are in my meal and I really like to share that when I share my recipes. So after I made my dressing I set that aside and then I took some lettuce and I chopped it up real nice and thin to make kind of a chopped salad. And I, I did about a one and a half cups of lettuce. So then I took one tablespoon of blue cheese and sprinkled it on top of the lettuce, um, basically to do kind of a layering thing. Um, and also I wanted to see how much one tablespoon of blue cheese was. And then um, I saw that I was going to need more blue cheese, but I wanted to put the blue cheese on top of my strawberries just to do a little bit of a layering effect and also for my picture to make it look a little bit nicer and so you could see the blue cheese. I sliced up the strawberries, put them on top, I put three medium strawberries on, and then I sliced up my dilly ham real nice and thin just like I did with my lettuce. And this, this salad would be great even without the ham, but because my diet requires me to be so high in protein, I really needed to add that ham to get my protein up. Even though I was using Greek yogurt and blue cheese, I was getting some protein from those, but I need a high protein um, item in all of my meals. So I added the dilly ham. Um, this would also be really good with some chicken breast. I didn't have any chicken breast. The, what I had for chicken breast was already pre-seasoned and I didn't want to change the flavors. So I went with the dilly ham. I then put this second tablespoon of blue cheese on top of the strawberries and ham so you could see it, make it nice and pretty. And I decided two tablespoons of blue cheese was enough. Um, I didn't want to do too much as blue cheese has a lot of flavor in it and um, also it has a good amount of calories for what you have there. But what's great with blue cheese is, like I said, you have a lot of flavor there for the calories. So it's a good cheese to go with. I then poured on my salad dressing and it was an amazing salad. That's basically how I make my recipes. I don't know if this is the right way to do it or not. I'm sure um, there's some chefs out there that they do it perfectly and have this whole system. 
I'm teaching myself to cook so I'm teaching myself these systems and how it works for me and what works for me and basically I wanted to share this with you just in case you're also learning how to cook or want to learn how to maybe make your own recipe um, just to see how easy it is to throw a few things together and see if they taste good. Sometimes you can make a recipe and it turns out terrible. Been there, done that. So don't worry if that happens. Just go for it. Um, if it does happen, you might have to eat it. Depends on uh, how tight your budget is for that week. But this recipe turned out awesome and I, I promise you'll be looking forward to it. So you should subscribe to my blog to make sure you don't miss it. So this is Pepper at Pepperscraps.com.